So Bruce, you didn't um, just arrive on the scene in the world of psychotherapy, did you? You've come from a background of hard science. Yes, uh, I was a research physicist for 14 years before I transitioned into psychotherapy. Wow. And uh, uh, it was, uh, for me, a wonderful change. I I, I loved my physics work, at least for the first few years of those 14. Um, (laughs) And then I loved psychotherapy even more. I felt it was using all of me. Uh, You know, I had to function on all channels, intellect, feeling, uh, empathy, um, just everything poured into it. Very satisfying for me. Uh, but I did bring with me the, the ways of thinking I had learned as a physicist, you know, the very systematic ways of looking at a very complex phenomenon and uh, examining it closely and finding order in complexity. And I think that has served me very, very much because what is more complex than the human mind uh, and all its simultaneous functions and layers uh, and uh, uh, understanding the reconsolidation research and how to apply it in therapy um, uh, was, was very much, I think, made possible by the ways of thinking I had learned as a physicist. Now, you've developed a particular m- modality of working um, with memory consolidation. Um, tell us a little bit about what, what is that called? Yeah. Uh, coherence therapy is a system of therapy that I developed well, along with Laurel Hulley. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, we actually developed it before coming across the memory reconsolidation research, uh, which I think I mentioned I came across in 2005. But back in the late 1980s and early 90s, we set out to identify what happens in sessions that occasionally produces transformational change. Um, Those specific markers where uh, the client's symptom uh, or problem pattern fairly abruptly ceases permanently and the um, emotional activation or ego state or mood state that had accompanied the symptoms also ceases. And these changes persist without any effort at all, effortless, once the change happens taking those as the markers of transformational change that occasionally, and in the beginning of our careers, very occasionally happen. But the fact that they did sometimes happen caught our attention very strongly. Wow, if this is possible, we want to know what brings that about. So we purposefully set out to examine very closely any sessions that did produce those transformational change effects and to identify what happened in those sessions, and then uh, what are the common features across sessions with different clients and different uh, symptoms that produce those transformational changes. And finally, we did arrive at a set of experiences that were always present in leading up to a transformational change. Uh, We published our first book, Depth-Oriented Brief Therapy, in late 1995, uh, sharing those findings, that process, we happened to stumble upon the very same set of experiences that the memory reconsolidation researchers subsequently identified starting in uh, 2004. Of course, memory reconsolidation was discovered in 1997 to 2000, but it wasn't until 2004 that researchers began identifying this type of experience that they call a mismatch or prediction error experience that unlocks the neural encoding of emotional learnings. And it turns out that that is precisely the experience we had identified, although we didn't use those terms for it, but it's unmistakably the same experience. So finding the reconsolidation research was for me uh, uh, just a joyous confirmation of what we had found. And since then, I've been, you know, we've been working, my colleagues and I have been working to uh, integrate the memory reconsolidation research with the methodology that we found and uh, renamed coherence therapy uh, in the same year, 2005. So it's a methodology that exactly matches the memory reconsolidation process from the labs. 
Well, if you want to know more about the science of psychotherapy, come across to our website, thescienceofpsychotherapy.com, and our podcast of the same name, and learn more about the science of you. Thank you.